Welcome to our second video on how to patent software. If you're just joining us, please click on the pop-up link and it will take you back to our first video. In this, part, in this video, we're going to go over the different basics of a software patent application. Uh, what are the components to a software patent application? What are the things you have to include? And then how to actually go about submitting or filing your software patent application. The three different components or three different pieces for any patent application, and in including the software patent application, are the figures, which you're going to show, use to show what your invention looks like, the specification, which you're going to use to describe what your invention is and how it works, and the claims, which defines the scope of your invention, and that's actually what gives you your patent rights or your patent coverage. So figures for a software patent application or a software patent look a little bit uh, different than, say, a traditional patent on a widget or a new device because for a software patent, we're trying to patent the unique method or the unique steps that your software program goes through. And so you can see here, this is a very old patent from Apple um, back when they had styluses before they had touch screens. Um, and this talks about uh, some software steps that uh, this Apple device went through using the stylus. And so you can see it goes through this process and then when it gets to a decision point, um, is toolbox selected? If yes, then the software program does this step. If no, then it does this step. And so it's a very simple flowchart that you can make using Microsoft Word or, or any other type of software program you want to use to make a flowchart. And this will show you exactly what the unique features and the unique steps of your software patent application are. Now you can see each of these steps are numbered and this is important because you're going to want to re remember what this numbering scheme looks like. So I'd write your figures first and then print them out and have them next to you and then when you're writing your software patent application you would use these numbering uh, schemes to describe each step as you're writing your detailed description or your specification of your invention. The other type figures you can use in a software patent application are what I call kind of these concept figures that maybe show a, a broad or unique concept. So here's another very early Apple patent where it shows the concept of uh, transferring data between a cloud and a desktop computer. So this is something that's commonly done nowadays, but you know, 20 years ago when they filed this patent, um, this was a really unique concept. And so this is uh, how they chose to show that concept in their patent figures. The other thing you can do is you can show uh, screenshots. So it should be black and white screenshots if, the, if you think those screenshots of your software program show the unique features of it, you can include those as figures as well. So after you have your figures done, you should sit down and write your written description. And that's where you're trying to describe in detail each step that your software process goes through. And so you can never have enough detail here uh, in your written description. Use your figures as a guide. So remember those numbering steps or that numbering scheme that we showed you. You would use that as your guide when you're writing uh, your written description. And you'd also want to think of alternative ways your software program could work. Uh, maybe you could add some steps or take some steps out or have the steps go in a little bit different order. You want to describe as many different examples as you can as you're writing your written description. And the last part are your claims. And so your patent claims define what your invention is, uh, kind of defines the scope of your rights for your patent application or your patent. Um, and software patent claims uh, are all very similar in the sense that they have two features. One is that they should always mention uh, a computer or a machine. So it's very hard to get a patent on just a, a method of doing something uh, that the average person could just do without a machine or a computer. Um, so you'll see that a lot of claims mention a computer or a machine. And then they should, of course, be methods or steps. So you'll see a bunch of steps listed. So this is a um, patent claim from Hewlett Packard where they talk about a computer implemented method of navigating websites, the method comprising, then you have step one, step two, 
And so in your figures, that should show what each of these steps are. And so that's what a typical software patent claim would look like. Once you have your specification and your figures created, you'd want to save them as PDF files because um, that's the acceptable file type uh, for the Patent Office website. You would fill out the proper cover sheets or transmittal letters to file your patent. And you'd ultimately go online to the USPTO.gov website and you can pay uh, your filing fee with your credit card. And so on my, on my website, um, patentfile.org, I actually walk you through the entire steps to do this and I have screenshots. I just don't have enough time to cover that all in this video. And this is all free, by the way, at patentfile.org. So once you submit your um, patent application, you should get a patent serial number. And at that point, you can use the term patent pending uh, to describe your new software. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, my name is Brad Fosh. I've been filing patents for 11 years. I've filed over 500 different patent applications. I'm a certified licensing professional. Um, what I've tried to do is put together a guide that has very detailed videos. Uh, for so each one of those steps we talked about, I've made a detailed video on how to do that. Uh, I put that all together as a video guide, and I've also created a, a patent template. Uh, showing you exactly how to fill out the different parts of your patent application. And I've tried to sell this as a package uh, for $85 and you also get one hour of my time. So if you have any questions or you need help along the way, uh, that's what uh, I'm here for. So I hope you'll check that out at our website, uh, patentfile.org. If you have any questions, you can email me. Here's my email address. Uh, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, um, please uh, like it and leave me some comments. Thank you.